Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, good morning. It's a Monday morning. Maybe not when you're watching this, but it's a Monday morning, quarter day eight. Um, and this is the way I try to start my day with a kind of 15, 20 minute stretch and slash yoga routine. So I'm just going to do a follow along. Just going to do it the exact same way I do it. Um, I start to do this every morning. One thing I'm trying to improve kind of in this isolation period is my flexibility. So um, try it out, give it a go, even if it's only two or three mornings a week. It doesn't even have to be in the morning, I just like doing the morning sets for my day. Um, yeah, give it a go. So just follow along. I'll give plenty of time. You can pause the video whenever you need to. Um, and if you're unsure of anything after the video, or you weren't sure when you were watching it, just drop me a message and I'll be able to elaborate for you. But none of it's going to be that complicated. So just start off with feet together. And we're just gonna reach as far as we can. If you can touch your toes, great. If not, just go as far as you can, grab your ankles. We're just gonna hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. This time we're trying to get a nice stretch on the hamstring, keeping the keeping the back as upright as you can, getting that this getting that connection in the hips. reach the foot with the two hands don't worry I don't do that because it's it's kind of reaching too far for me sacrificing my form a little bit I could do that but it's better to get the movement done and the stretch done kind of as effectively as you can without over stretching so you just hold on to the hand and if you feel this in the back of the knee it's a lot of people do um, try and rock your lower your kind of stomach over closer so stand up or sit up a little bit taller and then rock instead of rocking over from the shoulders rock over from the waist that's when you'll get that connection the hamstring also think always think mind muscle connection where you want to stretch always helps as well Okay, good. So this time, just gonna come in. Shoulders of feet together. I'm just gonna push down lightly on the inside of the knees. It's gonna stretch the adductors. Or the groins. Everyone mess. A lot of people message me and say I've got tight groins. Footballers and very common in footballers. Okay, so we're going to hold the press for 30 seconds. And breathe. And on the breath out, we're going to push down a little bit deeper. And hold. 
and play at the gym if you can touch his knee to the ground doing this. Madness. This would be where I would be tightest to my doctors in the ground. Definitely. Again. This time I'm going to bring the right foot over the top. Just pin the heel in. And then we're going to grab, we're going to pull the right knee over towards the left shoulder. You should feel a stretch in the outside of the hamstring, IT band, up into the the glutes and the hips. You're not really stretching the IT bones, you can't really stretch, but up higher up, more in the glutes. Again, I did a run yesterday, then a workout, and the glutes would definitely be where I would feel it. Kind of the next day. So it's important to stretch them out. A lot of the times they've, they've forgotten about. We're just going to hold all these stretches for kind of 20 30 seconds. Each side. Okay, and the other side. We will be doing more glute stretches, so that's why I'm only doing these ones. So again, sitting up nice and tall, grabbing the left knee and pulling towards the right shoulder. stretch up into the top of the glute. To get more of a stretch you can, lift it up a little bit and just pull up a little bit further. So I'm just came down the chimney. Outside the hip, so we're going to put the right foot over the top. And we're going to grab underneath the hamstring, the left leg. We're just going to rock back. Always breathing, just stretching this, the glute on the right hand side. Sweep the floor. So up again, I'm going to just go for five of these. Down, sweep the floor. This is just to open up the hips, open up the adductors. Okay, three. seconds. Okay, I'm 
the same again. Just go and drop it back. So, as close as you can get your knee to the grind. Really open it up. That joint three. Into a good root position, all fours. And we're just gonna rock back. Bringing your chest down to the floor. And we rock forward. Turn into a press up. Hands under your shoulders. And we're going to push up through the hands, keeping your hips on the floor, stretching the lower back, pushing up and holding them. three or four times. Again, shoulders nice and close to the ground. Always try and keep your kind of toes flat on the ground, improve with ankle flexion. One thing that I'm trying to work on, because that'll improve your squat. Even when you're sitting, if you're sitting on your knees, always try and keep your like, feet as flat on the ground like that as you can. Try and over time build up that flexion in the ankle. It'll help you in your squat, the new deadlift, and all your bigger lifts in the gym. Last time. into quadruple position again. From here we're going to step with our right foot to the outside of our right hand and we're just going to drop our knee to the ground, keep our hands on the inside, we're just going to sink, try and get your left quad as close to the ground as you can, sink down let your front knee drop forward and we're really opening up them. Then hips gonna stretch out the hip flexor, just at the front of the just above the quads. Stretch out the quads. You should feel it just down at the front of this leg and up into the groins and the adductors. So then we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're going to drop a little bit further. Maybe lift the back knee off the ground. Sink as far as you can. Hold. 
it's always beneficial to stay up as tall as you can chest up to get more of a stretch so even if you want to add it in so chest up nice and tall left hand up I'm just gonna lean over to the right to get a really good stretch I'll show whatever I'm building leg up really good stretch on the outside of the stomach down into the hip factor that whole side open for 30 seconds Standing up, stretching down. Now we want to stretch this whole side down into the hip flexor, down into the front of the quad. So drop the quad down as far as you can go. Chest up, and we'll just stretch to the side. Keep it nice and upright. We don't want to be down here. We'll go up here. Just play about with it until you feel it. Or you should feel it. Sometimes it only takes small movements. Just stretching out the quads as well. Close to the ground as you can. Getting that nice stretch. And I'll go walk it down. Again, into that lower back stretch. Stretch out the front of the chest. So we're going to lie on our front. Hand flat on the ground, right flat hand. We're going to look over to our left and we're going to push the shoulder into the ground. over the right hand side and we're going to stretch the front of the chest into the pack down into the bicep use this other hand to push further into the ground to lift your left shoulder higher once we stretch out that right side a little bit more other side so full arm flat on the floor right up to the shoulder and use this arm so lock as far the idea of locking as far the other way as you can to really open up the neck muscles down into the front of that shoulder oh I'm hitting this bag of stick 
Feel a nice stretch across the full front of the shoulder down into the bicep. Important to keep this full flat and full arm flat on the floor. Sorry, Charlie, I can't speak yet. into <clears throat> a lion position. So we're going to bring right knee up, 90 degrees. We're going to drop it down to the side. We keep this right shoulder on the floor. So right shoulder, right knee as close to the floor as you can. We're just going to hold and breathe. Stretching out that lower back, up into the thoracic spine, thoracic spine. Now breathe. And see on the other side. Again, keeping the shoulder on the floor. Down. Just let your knee drop naturally down. Don't force it too much. Close to the ground you can. Okay, so last couple. I'm gonna do some cat curves. So I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna arch the back. Pushing the thoracic spine up, which is this mid. Get your body into as much of a curve. Some people call these cat curves, cow curves, camels. And then roll back again. So this is good to get that kind of hip hinge that's needed. 
to perform a, a decent squat or a deadlift, get that separation in the lower back and the upper leg. Create some nice angles. It's all about just knowing how to roll your pelvis in and out and set your pelvis to lift weight. position. So down and just sit. If you can't go this far, just go as far as you can go. <clears throat> just going to sit in this bottom of the squat. Just move it around a little bit. And we're going to grab the toes, straighten out the legs. is another thing that we need to work on. Getting the ankles primed to perform an effective squat. We'll go for the last one. And to finish this, we're just gonna Stand up nice and straight. You'll probably not see me then because the camera will miss me, but um, we want to imagine opening up the back, spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, you know, disc by disc. So you really want to open the back. You don't want to stand straight up. You want to really curve the back the whole way up until it's straight, right from the bottom of the spine, up to the thoracic, up to the top. So let your hands drop down. So you're not standing straight up, um, you're just rolling up through the movement. And open up the chest. I'm breathing. So I said, guys, that was about 25 minutes from what I can. Um, that's the flow that I like to do. There are other things you can add in. There's um, different things, different different ways of doing the things I've done um, to kind of hit different spots. But I find that from kind of trial and error, few this is what I find works best for me. <coughs> works best for me, um, and it should work well for you. If there's other things, or if you're in, if you're tight in a certain area, just message me. I'll send you across more like concentrated exercise for that area to loosen it up so that you can do it all. Um, that wee bit easier and get more flexible and really open up the joints and this will stand you in good stead if you want to go back to training just in everyday life sitting at the desk it's important to be um, your muscles to be as primed as they can be and to be as functional as they can be so yeah guys hope you enjoyed that that follow along let me know if you want me to do more follow alongs even workouts and stuff um, that we can do together or maybe a couple of live videos if we can get kind of dates and times set so yeah, hope you enjoyed guys. Have a great week.